What's up, y'all? I'm back. I wasn't gonna make a video. I was gonna wait till tomorrow, but I ain't doing it right now, so I'm gonna make it right now. All right, for the channel, I made a whole separate channel just for how-to videos. So there will not be any more how-tos on the channel. It's just showing like what I did, like the finished result of stuff. So how-tos will be on a whole separate channel because those are the ones that get the most views. Um, I made another separate channel for bass. I'm looking at getting a uh, SPL meter here soon. And then that's for the bass. Uh, all the automotive, wood, anything that you, like I'm showing you how to do, it's all gonna be on the how-to channel. And then all the, oh, this fireworks from last year. All the bass stuff will be on the bass channel. But I'm finna let y'all see an update of what's going on. Cheap cost for profit is still going on too. Uh, I just got a 2008 Chevy Cobalt. The guy was saying he need a motor, but I doubt it. I'll be looking into it here soon. Um, so I'm gonna give y'all a rundown of what's in front of the house and then what I'm gonna do with it. Into motor steel. When picked up a core. Um, I'm gonna make an engine stand so I can find out what's wrong with this. Get it running. It came with computer wiring and everything, like complete full pedal. It's a 03. It came with the pedal in a uh, drive-by wire box. It's pretty simple to find out what's wrong with it. I just gotta get it running and not in the car, so it won't be a, like a lot of labor. But all these harnesses about to come off and computers coming out. I'm sending the harnesses out to John Brown. I'll put that contact on the screen now. So we got the 85 gold box it's gonna be goldy right here so i'm looking at 53 lsx cam uh super 10 mufflers exhaust tips gonna sandblast this thing i bought a blaster find out how to use it if i can't find the two door this is gonna be what i'm gonna keep because i'm not keeping a white one anymore yeah power locks power uh the windows it's gonna be digital dash just getting wrapped seats might end up just being pressure washed because they ain't too bad they just dirty carpet replaced sunroof for sure got the droopy headline uh stock radio stand in we got drop a console put a double den in there uh cup holders six and a half do the six and a half and the six pods keep panel look at look at what happened to the Malibu while i was going Ouch. All right, this is my first order business, like, as soon as I get back from vacation. Cut this out. Replace it. New trunk, new window. Uh, the bumpers was already scratched and dented. I saw a bend bottom. I never put them on, so I don't have to buy bumpers for the front or back. But I got them already, so that should be pretty simple. That's why y'all seen Cat Loco showing the uh, Malibu's. Scratched all up. Dents. A little bit of hail. There's gonna be a sunroof in it. So we're gonna do a, a wash and buff on this. I never ever wash this car. The tag's about to expire. I never washed it, never cleaned it. Just drove it really. So digital dash, console. I got a factory style radio. Throw that back in. Put the console in with a double den, two cup holders, six and a half. Um, these door panels like not the greatest, so thinking about just cutting up the doors. This one is like the best looking one. Just cutting up the doors, putting uh two six and a half in the two front doors and one six and a half in the back. Uh, a blow through box. I'm finished cutting that Chevy sign out, putting a blow through box back there, and then cutting the uh back deck. So it can blow through, literally. Have that pressure coming through here. And then possibly keeping two six and a half, one in each corner. I mean six by nines, one in each corner. But it's not a bad looking whip. Alright, for trusty dirty girl. Pulling all this back out. Diagnosing this motor. See what's wrong with it. Put it back in. Sandblast and then reshoot, do a lot of body work and reshoot. This roof coming out, I'm gonna put another roof in here. It's 
times already right here. This is coming out, I'm putting another leaf in here. For sure. So I gotta go bigger since I already cut the hole. Gotta go bigger. So let me see what I can find. I found out what I did wrong with it. I ended up breaking this roof anyway. It fell on my head when I was uh, trying to put it in by myself. Still got the new carpet. I got some Bonneville seats in here, which I might get redone. I already got a digital dash. I already got a radio. I'm not. I might do a console, but not a double dan with it. So stay tuned for that. I'm looking at getting some rear ends. Phone going off. Y'all have to give me a second in a minute. I got all the trim, all the lights, all that stuff. All in the garage in the box right now. But yeah, everybody like, what's she run? Staying haul. All right, for the van, I left the key, but let me go get it. All right, got the van. So, check this out. As soon as I rolled this, so I've been driving, so I've been back for like five days. Started it, played the music. The power wire on the six and a half broke. The ring terminal is pretty cheap, and the table is CCA. I don't think I'm ever going to use CCA unless I'm using like 500 watts because this looks pretty bad. So here, hold on. You can see it like how it's turning that white. Like this white, you see powder and dust. I don't know. I feel like it's fried throughout. I'm not using it no more. No more. It's coming out too. I bought welding cable. Two zero for the subs and four gauge for the for the highs. Run it again. Run it all over. Now here is why I was diagnosing the amps. Got them two amps up there. Um, so all that's coming out. TV getting redone. So what I'm end up doing is pushing this TV far back. It's possible. And then what we going to do is put that back seat back in here since I got a truck now. And 215 L7s going to keep them boys in here. And be a, like a huge box. Probably take up all but a section of the corner so I can keep tools and stuff. Whatever I need in case like an accident or somebody need help. I always help people on the side of the road so keep a little bit of tools just in case something like that happen mm, that should be it for the van uh, I'm gonna redo this here what I did for voltmeter base knob high zamp turn off and on switch and that aux to this TV I'm gonna redo that but yeah this this TV setup is gonna look pretty nice when I get done with it I'm telling y'all now Pretty nice. That's what I've been waiting to show y'all. That's 3500. Taking this construction worker kit off because I ain't doing no construction. This this baby about to pull three cars. So I got a three car trailer I'm looking at. Possibly getting it tomorrow. Hopefully everything go through. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. But y'all see it, man. Big boy. Big boy. So I'm gonna do some audio on this too. Y'all see it. I think I'm putting the roof in it. The toolbox I might keep, but I can't mount it down. It looks like somebody like ripped it out or something because they lost the key and the keys broke. No key came with it. The key holes broke. I might keep it and just put stuff back there, but nothing important. Y'all see it, man. I already got the gooseneck. Gooseneck in there. Working like a shoe. Right up, got the eight point. My bad. Uh, kick pods, I'm gonna change them eventually, even if I gotta make some. Put some six and a halves and a tweeter down there in both of them. You got heat and AC. It's clean looking, could be a clean looking truck, but it's pretty dirty right now. Yeah, she running though. I'm doing a little bit here and there what I can. I mean, that's family time. But yeah, man, that thing ain't running. Everything ain't running. Everything but the gold box. Still got two more cars in storage. But yeah, we're about to be making it happen, bro.
What? I'm eating crackers. You're eating crackers? Yeah. Y'all can see me. I'm out.